The T84 does a great job with a goodness of fit test like this one. We want to know if customers show a preference for one candy more than others. We came up with this data for five different flavors. Now this is our observed data and we're going to start by entering this into the TI-84. We're going to go right to the stat menu and then we do want to edit so we're going to hit enter here and my list is already empty. If your list one isn't empty you want to arrow up to the list name, hit clear, not delete, hit clear and then enter. Mine was already ready to go. Let's go ahead and enter in those values. I've got 48, 36, 42, 34, and 40. Back to our hypothesis test. Let's do the hypotheses next, starting with the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis says that chi-square is equal to zero, meaning that there is no preference amongst the flavors and that these are equally distributed from flavor to flavor. Our alternative hypothesis, however, says that chi-square is significantly greater than zero, meaning that there is a preference and they're not evenly distributed. But what is chi-square? Chi-square is the sum of all of the observed values minus the expected value squared divided by the expected value. We are not going to do these by hand. So we've got to figure out what those expected values are. Okay, so back to our table. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a row for the expected values. We're gonna find these based on the null hypothesis that says there's no preference, that these are equally distributed. So we need to add these numbers up. And as we total these numbers up, we get 200. We're gonna divide them evenly into our five categories or five flavors and we end up with 40 per flavor these are our expected values now if you take a look they're definitely different than the expected values except for the grape but are they significantly different let's get these into the calculator now I'm still in stat and edit, so I'm ready to enter in my list. Let me arrow over to list two, which is where my expected values are going to go. My list is empty, but again, if yours isn't, arrow up to the list name, hit clear, not delete, hit clear, and then enter. Okay, let's go ahead and enter each of those in as 40. And we're ready to run that test. Let's get out of our list editor by doing second followed by quit. To run the test, I wanna to go to the stat menu and I'm gonna arrow over to the tests menu. Now I'm looking for that chi-square goodness of fit. I can arrow down or I know it's towards the bottom of the list. You can also arrow up, which is a little bit quicker. Mine happens to be here in D, that chi-square goodness of fit, G-O-F test. Let's hit enter. It's asking me where my observed values are. Mine are in L1, which is perfect. Now, if you needed to, you could change the list name. So say your observed was in L3, you could go second followed by three to get to L3, but mine is in L1. Let me go back to second L1. I'm gonna arrow down once. This is L2, and that's exactly where my expected values are. And then it asks me for the degrees of freedom. While the calculator computes the chi-square test value for us, it does not compute degrees of freedom. Degrees of freedom is n minus one, but n is the number of categories. So it's the number of categories minus one or flavors. We've got five of them. Minus one gives us four degrees of freedom. So we're gonna change that five to a four and then arrowing down to calculate and then enter. And it gives me the values that I'm looking for. So it's giving me that chi-square value there of three, that's my test value. It gives me a p-value, which is a really big p-value of 0.5578. Let's finish this test off using our test chi-square value here and a critical chi-square value. Now remember we're attempting to answer this question and we're testing at alpha equals 0.05. Testing at the 0.05 significance level means that we've got a tail on the right-hand side here with an area of 0.05. We wanna find the critical chi-square value that cuts off this rejection area. Using this table, I know that I've got four degrees of freedom, so we're gonna use that row, and we've got 0.05 for our significance level, so using that column, we end up with a chi-square critical value of 9.488. This is now the boundary for our rejection region. However, our test value from that calculator was equal to three. So we are not in the rejection region. So we will fail to reject that null hypothesis. There is not enough evidence to support the claim that there is a preference amongst these flavors. Subscribe for more amazing stats tools with your TI-84. I've got another video for you here.